A long journey begins with a single step. The great migratory caribou herds have embodied this philosophical proverb. Their journey is a difficult one, fraught with many challenges. Their seasonal migrations are a testament to their resilience. The only way to survive up north, you have to be strong. We look for ptarmigan. We also hunt Arctic here in the fall. When I was growing up, there was always caribou. Andrew Nakashuk is the chair of the Nunavut Planning Commission. Like the caribou, the NPC is also navigating a challenging path, a path towards a Nunavut land use plan. Nunavut's a very big land that there are different opinions here and there. It's very eye-opener for me. It is a tough job. From what I have learned is we can't always satisfy everybody, individual, like individual person. There's going to be some disagreement here and there for sure. But we are trying our best. It's a very big task to do. Perspective is something Paul Kwasa has an abundance of, having been a key figure in the evolution of the territory. The Nunavut education minister has worn very many hats during his career. He was one of the signatories to the historic 1993 Nunavut Land Claims Agreement. His perspective on the journey towards a land use plan? I believe uh, the consultation process has, has tried uh, successfully in covering the different needs, the different understandings, and the different uh, requirements that the communities would be looking for in order to ensure that the lands, waters, and, and wildlife are as protected as possible, whether you are from the west or to the east. Nunavut has the youngest population in Canada, with a median age of 23. The hope is for this generation of children to enjoy a culturally and economically prosperous future. The key, according to Kwasa, are the Inuit guiding principles of IQ. Inuit is, uh, is a very important guiding principle. Inuit traditional knowledge is a very important part of our life. Uh, it respects the, uh, the society values. We have to ensure that we are educating our youth uh, the right way. Uh, and, and this is how we deal with development in our own uh, way, respecting our values and Inuit And that is so very important. If we do have a very good, strong plan that respects both sides, then our youth, uh, our future generation, will see that that, uh, that is the important part of uh, being unique in our territory. We lived according to the seasons, we followed the migration of animals, and we did not have a, you know, a school with classrooms, but our learning took place every day. The beauty of that life was that we were productive every day. I cannot recall a moment where I was not happy. Up to age 10, Lena Evek's journeys were by dog sled or boat. The McGill University educated teacher innovator and singer of children's songs is now leading a journey of rediscovery through the foundation of an Inuit learning center. Pirukvik means a place of growth. Language, culture and well-being. My educational career opened so many doors for me. I have to say that. Without it, I wouldn't be here like I am now. I do see uh, even more creative young people today. I do. I totally admire the youth today. Um, they may be going through challenges, so did we too. You know, every generation goes through that. It's very natural, you know, cycle to go through. But each time could be a little more challenging because the world is changing so drastically. 1.9 million square kilometers of land a vast economic potential, sensitive and unique Arctic wildlife and habitat, pristine freshwater reserves, thousands of kilometers of marine coastline, 
a challenging but not impossible task to balance the protection of wildlife and habitat while building strong economic opportunities for Nunavut. I want to see a good future of Nunavut. My name is Charlie Angok. I was born in Kangatsuyok, Wakem Bay. I was born on an island that is right in the mouth of St. Louis in February. And uh, it was um, right in the middle of the winter and I was born in an igloo. We need a very uh, conservation minded uh, about our uh, animals. Charlie Arngak and Putulik Papagatuk were two of the signatories of the historic James Bay Northern Quebec Agreement. It was a major turning point in Nunavik's history. From my experience in the past, negotiation of James Bay Northern Quebec Agreement, also negotiation with mining companies, I, I strongly suggesting that Inuit of Nunavut should work, really work together the government itself, another organization worked together and supporting the uh, Nunavik Planning Commission because they've been working very hard, thinking positively that uh, our uh, children, grandchildren will be still working together on this in the future with, the, with both the land use plan for Nunavut and Nunavik. Residents of Nunavut Mute recognize that you know, in order for us to be successful, we've got to be economically uh, self-sufficient. We've got to be uh, self-sufficient in, in how we uh, uh, can mix those two together. Inuit are very adaptable, and with a sustainable development taking place, I think those two can uh, meet in the middle ground and be successful. If everything's worked out well, it's a very good turning point for Nunavut. It is. It will be. For my life to prosper, I must have a lot of skills so that I, you know, aspire forward. Looking forward is what Andrew Nakashuk is doing, figuratively and literally. He has a drone, and he uses it as a tool to prevent him from getting stuck on broken sea ice when he's hunting. I'm going to use the drone, make it hover above me and watch the screen to, to see which path is the right path to take so I won't get stuck as much. And the NPC chair says like the drone, the draft Nunavut land use plan is also a navigational tool. During that path, I'm sure there's going to be some obstacles too and you'll be able to change it. It's like when you're trying to go between the ice that when you have to make a turn or make a change. Over time, things change, and uh, we can still use the, the, uh, the provisions in the, the Nunavut Land Claims Agreement. This agreement was meant not just for the po present population, but for our future generations, and, and that is why it is so very important to, to be seen and be understood that it's a living agreement. The purpose of a land use plan shall be to protect and promote Mana Sibunitin Nilo, Makimaninga Nunakativi, Amaruta Kwa Nunali, Tabani Nunavut Iluani, taking into account the interests of all Canadians and to protect and where necessary to restore the environmental integrity of the Nunavut settlement area. <laughs> <laughs>